guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to That Tommy Girl. So today I'm in front of my Tommy rack because we're doing a DIY today. I haven't done a DIY for so long um, because my sewing machine was broken. But for the holidays, my family bought me this really, really good sewing machine. And I'm really happy with it because I can do so many things. So for the first project of 2017 i've decided to diy my very old um velvet dress it's basically like a velvet skater dress like in the time i really really liked that kind of style um i wore this once i think and it was like three or four years ago and yeah so my style kind of changed and i really wanted to transform it into something more modern something that i would really want to wear so this is the velvet set i know that you guys probably can't see anything but this is the top and it has like a like a sweetheart shape and yeah and this is just a skirt and this is actually re this is actually going to be a really messy tutorial um because um this i really not improvised but i didn't really think it through before doing the DIY and I I really put myself like two challenges the first one being that it had to be double layered because the velvet alone is really see-through and my second like goal challenge was to try to make it seamless I partially um, was able to do it but, so, but but the top has like a the hem you can see the hem here so I kind of failed at that, um, but the skirt is seamless. So yeah, so basically that's what the video is going to be about, right? So if you guys are interested to know how to make this, just keep on watching. And yeah, and don't forget to like. I know it's really annoying when I repeat it. Honestly, likes doesn't do anything to like how much money I earn on YouTube. It just encourages me personally it just lets me know that you guys actually like my content and that maybe i should make more diys and yeah so let's just start so first things first i'm just laying some scratch paper on a board just to like draw my design in real format as you guys can see i already drew um what i was picturing to create in my little, little notebook and yeah so like you, the usual you'll need some pins some fabric some scissors um a top that really fits you and that has like a sweetheart shape just to make it easier so this is my design and it's pretty simple just a skirt and a top this is a top it has like a sweetheart kind of shape here I'm just laying down my sample top. Actually, this uh, this top I've made myself um, a while ago. This is pretty much what I want to create for this project. However, it's gonna be it's gonna have like more of a sweetheart shape um, in the breast area, and it's gonna be a bit longer. So here I'm just making it more like sweetheart shape. So it's more so I'm making it more curved. Now I'm adding half of an inch for seam allowance. For the other side to be equal, I'm just folding my paper in two to just cut out the same exact shape so my top can be equal. So um, these kinds of DIYs, it's really much easier if you just try to create um, with the help of a top that you actually already own, it's just much more simpler um, because it's really hard to make, um, it's really hard to sew stuff when you don't have a mannequin and you don't have the really right sizing. Anyway, so here's my dress and I'm just ripping pretty much all of the seam. So I've unseamed um, my dress into two parts, the top and the bottom well the skirt and this is my top and i'm just gonna uns unso like remove the seam of all the mesh detailing and use all of this fabric as much as possible to make my sweetheart top 
so again I'm just uh, removing the seam so this is the back of my the top of my dress and I'm actually gonna use that it's that as my I'm actually gonna use that as my front because it has much more fabric than the back and the back doesn't the back of my actual set doesn't really need that much fabric so here I've pinned my prop on the fabric to make it easier to cut out the shape um, so yeah it's just much easier when you pin your prop on your fabric so here's the front and for the back, this was the old, um, the old fabric of the top, and I just like cut that straight because the back is just gonna be straight. So like I mentioned in the intro, I wanted to make this double layered. So for every piece that, that I'll be cutting with the velvet, I'll be doing the same with another fabric as my lining. I then laid the front and the back right sides together, and I pinned the sides, and I'm just gonna sew the two sides, and I'm gonna do the same to my lining. Um, it's really optional to choose to make lining or not, but it's just that my fabric is really see-through. I've tried it on and like it's really see-through. So here is my velvet two pieces. I'm just flipping that inside out. What I'm doing now is taking my velvet two pieces and inserting the lining inside. So make sure that all these sides are aligned together. Um, you're pre basically just putting the like two twin pieces together so here I'm lining the two sweetheart sides together and the back together and then I'm just gonna sew all the um, the contour of it so now I'm just unseaming um, what uh, all the leftover strands that I could get from the mesh and I'm gonna use that as my the straps of my top fold both of the edges of that strand and then folding it in half and just sewing them across um, just to make like the stra the straps of my top so here you have my the two the strap and I'm just cutting it in two because it is enough um, to make two strands. So here's my top and I'm just basing myself on the sample that I'm well my the top this sample top that I made and just pinning it exactly where I sewed sewn my two strands. So now I'm removing the thread wherever I've pinned so I'm able to insert the strap. So here I'm trying to insert um, I'm trying to insert the strand inside. Um, and remember that the top is right now, it's, um, it's inside out. So here I'm just pinning it. And that's exactly where I'm going to sew. So just keep in mind that right now what you're seeing is the lining and the right sides are actually inside. So now I'm just flipping it inside out. And you see here, this is what the strands are going to look like after I sewn it and I flip it inside out. Now I'm taking that strand and I'm trying to tuck it inside the hole of the one of the holes of the back. Um, and yeah. And again, I'm just pinning that so I know where I have to sew. And yeah. Oh, this is what it looks like so with the strands on and flipped um, inside inside out so now for the skirt it's much more easier um, I just took um, a dress that really fitted me well and with all the fabric left over I tried to make the skirt as long as possible okay so this is the the leftover uh, fabric I have and as you guys can see my skirt is gonna be a bit too short because I don't have enough fabric but yeah I'm just cutting out cutting out the form and yeah so I as you guys can see I'm just cutting the two pieces and then I will be sewing that um, on the sides and I'll be I'll do the same thing with some lining I didn't film that part because I don't know why so now I'm just inserting the velvet fabric inside the lining and I'll be just sewing the waist with a 
zigzag stitch and then this is what it looks like when I flip it inside out I won't be sewing the hem of the skirt because I the 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 um, the bottom of the skirt is has always already been been hemmed because of the original dress and yeah that's the final result and I hope you guys enjoyed it and this is what it looks like So it looks really, really well, good, and I got inspired by um, a company. I'll be inserting a picture here, and it looks like pretty much exactly like the product. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY sweetheart velvet set, and yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm really happy with the result. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you like this, and. Thumbs up if you guys want to see more DIY. So I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you guys next week. Bye!